You know, when I found out the other day that Silicon Wives was an actual real website selling human-like companions, I had to make a video about this topic. And maybe you've read one or two headlines before about this topic. But so why are so many men around the world openly marrying robots or choosing human-like companions as companions? Google search and reading headlines? Chinese man marries robot he built himself. Australian man falls in love with humanoid robot. UK man falls in love with a robot. Multiple hilarious stories around the world. I'm sure all these guys have a warehouse full of these human-like ass dolls and the headlines are just bringing in the money. But in all seriousness, if you clicked on this video at one point in time, or if you don't already have one, and or if you just know about them and think they're hilarious, at one point in time, you must have seriously considered buying one. Or maybe you're one of the few smart individuals in the world with the know-how to build not just a doll, but a fully functioning robot with artificial intelligence, of course, like the article with the Chinese man who plans to marry with a robot he built for himself. And to be honest, I would have never even bothered reading the article and just laughed at the headline. Unless, of course, I wasn't making this video. Because, of course, why bother even reading when watching YouTube videos is so much more entertaining, right? But anyways, so I read the article and towards the end, I was like, oh yeah, made sense as to why. So some of us are probably familiar with China's one child policy, which they did put an end to in 2016. Well, due to the one child policy that was law between 1979 and 2016, it caused one of the worst gender gaps in the world, mainly due to sex selective abortions. Unfortunately, we're talking about couples or men wanting a boy rather than a girl if one child is all that is allowed, of course, right? In turn, this caused the gender gap and the ratio between men and women to be outweighed. According to the figures published by the World Economic Forum in 2016, there were 115 men for every 100 women in China. The gender imbalance coupled with changing attitudes towards marriage among the country's middle class meant many men never found wives. Well, at least the Chinese have a reason for the headlines. Not sure what's going on in America, the UK, or Australia. Again, I'm sure these guys all own their own warehouses full of these human-like companions and bring in the dollar signs every time these headlines go viral. But at the same time, who wouldn't want one? With giant boobs and the perfect bodies and artificially intelligent? Funny how the article also read, stories of robots replacing humans had become commonplace in China, but not even just, notably in multiple restaurants around the world where waiters and waitresses are now automated. However, multiple people have said these machines rarely ever live up to their expectations. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. If I told you the idea of a robot being pregnant and giving birth to a baby was currently just a concept, however, scientists studying biorobotics were on the verge of revolutionizing biological robots and reproductive technologies similar to human cloning, you'd probably say, huh? Well, let's rephrase that. 
If I told you the idea of a woman being pregnant by a robot was currently a concept biorobotic scientists were working towards, it would probably make a lot more sense. However, at the same time, no, because robots lack the biological functions needed for human reproduction, right? Well, here's the thing, all of which is very much real. As assisted biorobotic reproductive technologies are consistently evolving. However, although robots cannot replace human reproduction, they do play a role in assisted reproductive technologies, or ART for short, which include procedures such as IVR, which is short for in vitro fertilization, as well as artificial insemination. These techniques use technology to assist individuals or couples in achieving pregnancy, although they do still require human gametes, or the male sperm, as we know, for a successful pregnancy, of course. In fact, I was actually reading an article on Google the other day about an experiment that took place in a fertility clinic in New York City. The title of the article read, Humanity Used a PlayStation PS5 Controller by Sony to Inject Sperm with a Robot to Create Real Babies. Yes, a robot controlled with a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller managed to inject human sperm into human eggs and the result? Well... We wouldn't be telling this story if the babies weren't just recently born. In fact, it was all part of an attempt to make in vitro fertilization or IVF easier and more affordable. The researchers were using a sperm robot made by a startup called Overture Life to fertilize some eggs. They apparently decided to sync it with a PlayStation PS5 DualSense controller, which then allowed pretty much someone with no real experience to look through a microscopic camera, move the robotic needle, and successfully deposit a single sperm into several eggs. The result? Two baby girls have reportedly now been born from the process which the Overture Life startup claims are the first reproductive fertilizations born from a sperm robot. The PlayStation-controlled sperm robots are one of a series of experimental procedures currently being explored in order to try and make IVF more accessible for would-be parents, as traditionally, treatments can cost tens of thousands of dollars for each single attempt, while also requiring lots of different steps and equipments. Well, the Overture Life company says it envisions a future where the entire procedure could take place inside an automated box, where sperm and eggs go in and an embryo could come out only five days later. Mind-blowing. And I bet you didn't see that coming when we opened up this topic. In fact, artificial technology surrounding pregnancy and birth isn't such a new topic. Going back to 1995 and referring to artificial womb technology, when the invention of the first artificial womb was unveiled over 65 years ago. Fast forwarding to present day, and shining light on the brainchild of science communicator Hasim al Gahindi, a biotechnologist from Berlin who's established the EcoLife facility, which is home to several artificial wombs, all of which are powered by renewable energy. While EcoLife says they can grow up to 30,000 babies a year in this facility. And if you choose the elite package, you can engineer the embryo genetically before the implant is put into the artificial womb. You can choose intelligence, height, strength, hair, 
eye color, etc., and even avoid genetic diseases. The fact is, biorobotics is a revolution about to begin. The term bio, which means biological robot, is a smart adjective. Several new disciplines are bridging the gap between biology and robotics. Cybernetics, bionics, biomimicry, and synthetic biology are only a few examples. 3D printers will be used to create human tissue, stem cells, and other artificial blood cells in this scenario as well. Then you've got bone, cartilage, muscle, teeth, organs, blood arteries, and even ears may be printed using other 3D manufacturing equipment. Interesting stuff. And who would have thought just about anybody with a microscope, a chill box, and a PlayStation 5 DualShock controller could help in the process of in vitro fertilization, providing affordable options for people with fertility issues, of course. But if you ask me, the old-fashioned way is still the best. Anyways, so we asked the question, will a robot be able to give birth to a child robot in the future? Well, technically, no. Robots are machines, and they lack reproductive organs needed for fertilization and birth. But one thing is for sure, pregnancy and birth is just another sector that robots and technology is advancing into the future. 